Welcome back, everybody. My name is Michael Leando. Shake my hand. It's good to have you here. Let's go ahead and get started. Today, I want to go ahead and talk to you just for a moment about what it means when you have a dedicated group of followers of individuals that are just interacting with you on your content, whether that be Facebook, YouTube, any other platform, and, and what you should be doing or thinking about as your next steps. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than some of the tech content that I typically put out, but I do want to make sure that I'm empowering as many people as I can. So with that said, let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to log in. I uh, don't have an account. Okay. Looks like my email gets set up. All right. So I got my username, email, and password in here. Uh, do I want to subscribe to their newsletter? Sure. I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to create my account. That's going to go ahead and do its thing. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and give my newsletter a name. So we'll say a great place full of great stuff. And then this will be just come check out the awesomeness. Okay. Now um, I can get really fancy and I can say, hey, when you click on my newsletter on this email that's going to go to your inbox, I can go ahead and send you to some other site. Um, and when you unsubscribe, I can do that too. But the only one that I really care about is uh, what is the email address that this is going to be associated with? Now, eventually, I'll show you how to make your own like super cool person at michael.com right i can give you that walkthrough but for now i'll just go ahead and use my personal email just try not to spam me along the way okay so um aside from that would you like to do what here send emails from a custom domain no i think we're good here um yeah you can archive my emails you can subscribe to them in other ways this is looking fairly straightforward i'm going to go ahead and click on update Okay, um, I think that's all we need to do here. Um, what does subscribing do? Subscribing, uh, I like to require new subscribers to confirm their email. That's good for preventing bots, I guess. Um, everything else, I'm just going to go ahead and keep that the same. So let me update this page. And if I go back and click on design, it uh, looks like you can customize the header. You can customize the footer of your email. That way it has sort of a theme associated with it, which is kind of cool. But we're going to go ahead and write. So uh, let's say that we have a bunch of users already set up. And let me go to actually let me go to subscribers first. And let me put my email in here. OK, so I have a subscriber now. Great. So I went ahead and I got the email. I'm just going to pull this off screen a little bit. Um, that way you don't see my, my actual inbox, but as you can see, I got the email that's saying, Hey, go ahead and confirm that you are in fact, uh, wanting to sign up for this. This is the newsletter. This is the, um, the body of the content. And I'm going to go ahead and confirm. Note that it's handling all of this stuff for us. So it's saying, awesome. You're confirmed. You can go ahead and share that. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to head back to the site here. And now if I refresh. Yay, I have my first subscriber, even though it's myself. Okay, so um, from here, let's go ahead and we can write. Now, I'm going to go ahead and send out my first newsletter, which is going to be um, Welcome to Edition 1. And if you want to, you can even throw in a little emoji in here. Now, uh, there's two ways that you can write this. You can write this uh, with the toolbar, and this might be what some of you, most of you are familiar with, right? You can bold, italicize, uh, make various headers. Or um, you can write what's known as Markdown, and that's supported as well. And that's if you want to make a big header, you can just say hello, and that'll show up big as opposed to just hello without the, the pound sign there. But all that stuff is good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let me grab a GIF real quick. So we have welcome. There we go. Let me copy this link here. And I'm going to throw this in here. Awesome. Now that I have the GIF, if I want to go ahead and bring it in, I can go ahead and click on this image, or I can use the, the markdown way of doing things, uh, where I can just say something like, hey, if the image isn't there, show the text welcome. Otherwise, um, show this stuff right here. Right? So there's my URL. 
and then at the very end I'll go ahead and say it's great to have you here. Now the cool part is that if I go ahead and um, send this to all of my subscribers it'll show me how many it's going to go and get sent out to. So I'm going to say are you sure and send right over here. Great, I just sent it. I should be getting an email. And then if you want, you can view um, archives of past emails. You can also view your subscribers. You can take out subscribers, manually enter them. It's just a really nice service. And if you're wondering about pricing, the greatest thing about this is that the first 1,000 uh, subscribers that you have are completely free. Again, another breakdown on pricing is that um, it costs $5 a month per 1,000 subscribers. So anything under a thousand is perfectly free, which is super, super nice. Another fun fact is that you can hop into analytics. You can see um, just how many emails have been sent out, how many have been opened. Uh, that way you can say, hey, I have a thousand subscribers, but I'm not getting any sales. Well, you can check to see are people actually opening your email, which is a super awesome analytical tool that you probably want to have on a service. And then the last cool feature that I do want to go ahead and show you, this can do so much more. Uh, but the last thing I want to go ahead and show you is that when you are ready to start making making that good money, say you have that really rich following, uh, your newsletter can actually become essentially a product itself. So you're no longer just using it to send out exclusive content and hoping that they hop over to your website or your Etsy site or whatever. Uh, now you can go ahead and say, um, I want my newsletter to actually cost money. So you can send out a free newsletter to the majority of your subscribers and then basically say, hey, uh, we can have a paid subscription. So that way, if you want to look at this other newsletter that has exclusive content or discount codes for my merch, whatever it may be, then you can charge them you know, a premium for this amount. So it's just an overall super and well thought out tool. I definitely wanted to make sure that you were all aware of it. But from here, that's all I got. Again, my name is Michael Leando. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. If you think it's something that's going to be benefiting you now or in the future, uh, and what steps are you taking to get there if you aren't there already? As always, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Peace.